So Sheila, my final question for you is, as we talk, there's a lot of international students, new immigrants come in, and a lot of them are doing pivot in their careers from whatever they were doing. And again, pandemic also kind of push a lot of people to pivot their career. So how yes. can they do that pivot? How can they do that change or the transferable skills that we talked about? Absolutely. Yeah, that's a, I mean, because it was very prevalent after the pandemic, some job categories just simply disappeared. So and if in the part of the country where I am, it's, it is oil and gas dependent. Well, actually, where you are as well. Nice. Um, and a lot of oil and gas jobs have changed or di- disappeared. So many people are having to do career pivots or your students coming from a different country and choosing a completely different discipline. Yes. So first thing, that's where, as we talked about in one of the earlier episodes, really important to do a target position. Because yes. if I see that you've been in X profession through your entire career, but now you're applying on something completely different, I'll think you've applied on the wrong job. Yes. Target position, exact title of what you're applying for. Now, then secondly, your education, if you're experienced, is probably on page two or page three. So move your education back to page one, because chances are your education is going to be what you're taking right now at university or college is going to help you to segue into that new career. So that's why it's really important to have your education back on the first page so I can see, okay, maybe you've been a reservoir engineer and that was your career and that was your education, but now you want to be uh, in finance. So I will then see that you're at at the university taking a finance degree. So then that will make sense to the hiring manager. So those, those two things as well, If you have done, if you're looking for experience to segue into that new career, think about looking at volunteer work Mm -hmm. uh, in order to gain that experience. If you do put your volunteer work back on page one and make sure you're indicating again, very similar in the two-step resume formula, follow that same formula and as well talk about successes and with volunteer work, make sure you're indicating how many hours per week you're volunteering. Mm -hmm. there's a full chapter in the new book on on career pivot. So lots more, lots more tips and secrets to uh, to share on how to get noticed in a pivot. And uh, thank you for those great tips. And with that, my interview comes to an end. Again, Sheila, thank you for taking the time to ask you the questions, which are very beneficial and practical. And again, for the audience watching Hired, it's a great book that everyone I recommend to have. And I'll put the link in the in the description. And again, tune in next time for other great guests I'm preparing for you guys. And again, Sheila, thank you very much. And let's keep in touch. Bye, everyone. See you.